Hey everyone, Miss Megan from the Columbus Public Library Teen Department here, and this is what's new in Teen Lit. Join us each month to learn about the hot new titles we're adding to our teen collection. This month's theme is Red, White, and Youth. Our current political climate has spurred a new wave of teen fiction and nonfiction titles that explore the political system, elections, activism, and more. Today I'm going to share with you five realistic fiction novels featuring teens finding purpose, friendship, love, and most importantly, their voices. And if you're more interested in learning the nitty gritty of the American political system, then I have 11 nonfiction titles to inspire and educate you. Finally, I'm going to show you a website for an organization called Project Mobilize, which has helpful information for you looking to become change makers in their communities. Let's get started. Our first book is The State of Us by Sean David Hutchinson from Harper Teen, a star-crossed queer romance taking place along the presidential campaign trail. Dre Rosario is an out-and-proud Mexican-American teen whose father is running for president on the Democratic ticket. Dean Arnault is the closeted son of the woman running as the Republican opposition. Despite the rivalry and opposing politics of their parents, they strike up an unlikely friendship at the first debate. As potential first sons, they find in the other a connection they don't have anywhere else, and their relationship quickly turns romantic. A romance that's threatened with blackmail by the sleazy third-party candidate. If you want to find out how Dre and David develop as characters as well as a couple, then check out The State of Us by Sean David Hutchinson. Next, cross-cultural romance meets activism in Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed from Balzer and Bray. Parents divorcing plus canceled summer vacation plus too busy BFF equals Maya's worst Ramadan ever. Not to mention her mother thinks the answer to her problem is making her volunteer to do political canvassing. Jamie Goldberg wants to keep his political volunteer work completely offstage. No door knocking or speaking to strangers for him until he meets Maya. For a homegrown romance set in Atlanta by Atlanta-based authors, check out Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. Also available in ebook. Complicated parent-child relationships ahead and running by Natalia Sylvester from Clarion Books. Mariana Ruiz has supported her father's political career from local offices to U.S. Senate and has always believed he'd make a great president. But when he actually decides to run, she quickly tires of being in the spotlight and runs away. Now she is the subject of viral videos and even more media scrutiny. On top of that, she starts paying attention to her father's politics and the student activism at her school that seems directed against him, and begins to realize her parents are not the heroic people she imagined them to be. Find out whether or not Mari decides to take a stand by checking out Running by Natalia Sylvester. For a story told from two alternating perspectives, check out You Say It First by Katie Cotugno from Balzer and Bray. Meg is an optimistic, college-bound, politically passionate young woman from suburban Pennsylvania working in a voter registration call center. She is also dealing with the fallout from her parents' messy divorce. A chance call connects her to cynical, politically apathetic Colby from small-town Ohio with issues of his own. He doesn't think change will come and is content staying where he is. When Meg reaches out to Colby again, the two 18-year-olds begin to challenge each other to face their assumptions and prejudices, all while falling for each other long distance. If you want romance, family drama, and witty debates, Check out You Say It First by Katie Kotibna. The final fiction gem is The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert from Disney Hyperion. When a registration mix-up causes biracial, first-time teen voter Duke Crenshaw to be turned away at the polls, he does not expect to meet fellow first-time teen voter and Black youth activist Marva Sheridan. Marva has been registering people to vote for months, and she is determined to find a way for Duke to rightfully cast his ballot. Crisscrossing the city on a whirlwind race against the clock, they learn about each other's personal lives. Duke is reeling from the death of his brother and his parents' divorce and needs to cast his vote because he knows what's at stake. Marva's internet famous cat has gone missing, and her white boyfriend Alec is abstaining from the vote, which is causing tension in their relationship. 
Over the course of the day, the two find friendship while using their voices to fight racist voter suppression. Will Duke get to cast his ballot? Check out The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert to find out. Political demonstrations and protests haven't been limited to our present day. And Raise Your Voice, 12 Protests That Shaped America by Jeffrey Kluger for Philomel Books shares the stories of the causes, the people, and the impact of 10 historical and two modern American protests, ranging from the Boston Tea Party in 1773 to the Dakota Access Uprisings from 2016 to 2017. Many of history's leaders use nonviolent resistance to face their adversaries, but how does it work? We Are Power, How Nonviolent Activism Changes the World by Todd Hazak Lowy from Abrams Books for Young Readers features the stories of leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Greta Thunberg to show multiple perspectives on the versatility and methods of nonviolent activism. Being a changemaker is different when you're a woman. In good hands, remarkable female politicians from around the world who showed up, spoke out, and made change by Stephanie McKendrick from KCP Law tells the stories of a bevy of women and their unique struggles as female politicians. The second half of the book is a guide to help you ready yourself to be a candidate, not just for office, but for all of the important things in life, like scholarships, awards, and job promotions. Voting rights have always been a hot button issue. In Stolen Justice, The Struggle for African American Voting Rights by Lawrence Goldstone from Scholastic Focus, focuses on the injustices of post-Reconstruction suppression of African-American voters and the birth of Jim Crow. While lifting as we climb, Black Women's Battle for the Ballot Box by Yvette Dion from Viking Press digs into Black female suffrage from slavery's abolition to present-day youth activism. Give Us the Vote, Over 200 Years of Fighting for the Ballot by Susan Goldman Rubin for Holiday House chronicles the fraught history of U.S. voting rights from the Founding Fathers to today's voter suppression controversies. And if you're more visual than Drawing the Vote, an illustrated guide to voting in America by Tommy Jenkins and illustrated by Katie Lacker for Abrams Comic Arts is the book for you. This graphic nonfiction presents the story of, as the author says, the hard-fought, often life-and-death history of voting in this country, from our nation's beginnings to today in comic form. Ripples of Hope, Your Guide to Electing a New President, written by David Pluff for Henry Holt and Company, provides young readers an overview of the election process and actionable steps you can take to get involved in causes you believe in. And he should know what he's talking about. He was former President Barack Obama's campaign manager. Infused by the who, what, when, where, why, and how of American elections, then pick out Votes of Confidence, A Young Person's Guide to American Elections, second edition by Jeff Fleischer for Zest Books. This is a great book for voters of all ages and breaks down the legislative process, how political parties came to be, the creation of the Electoral College, campaign finance issues, the election process, and more in easy to understand terms. In a civics refresher, then Civics, Democracy Rules, created by Basher and written by Shannon Weber for Kingfisher, is your quick illustrated guide to the basics. In less than 100 brightly colored pages, you'll learn about the Constitution, the people who make decisions and create laws, the courts, the Bill of Rights, and American citizenship in bite-sized, easy-to-read chapters. Our final book, You Call This Democracy? How to Fix Our Government and Deliver Power to the People by Elizabeth Rush for Houghton Mifflin and Harcourt. Covers topics such as gerrymandering, voter suppression, representation in elected offices, the electoral college, and more, and then asks the question of how democratic is that really? The book encourages readers to find ways to help fix our democracy and get involved in bettering our future. There you have it. 16 books, fiction and nonfiction, to inspire you this election season. If any of them have struck your fancy, don't forget to visit 
cvlga.org to place them on hold for curbside pickup at any of our locations. But before you go, I have to tell you one more thing. Follow us on social media. We are at Chat Libraries on Facebook and YouTube and at CV Libraries on Instagram for our new youth voter education series beginning at the end of September. In six episodes, you'll feel empowered by your knowledge of the election process. You're going to learn how to register to vote, what to expect at the polls, how to find information about causes and candidates and what kind of offices people run for, that and much more for voters of all ages, really. And we'll even share information about resources like Project Mobilize. Project Mobilize is a network of leaders working to create change. On their website, you can learn their history, join the movement, share an opinion, or what you'll find most helpful is reading the Mobilizer's Guidebook. Sections include harnessing millennial power, which you can skip since this was founded by millennials, finding an issue you're passionate about, making a plan to become educated about the issue, recruiting like-minded people, forming partnerships with other groups for a common purpose, mobilizing, communicating your message, advocating, financial stability, and a coming soon section on learning from failure and overcoming challenges. Thank you for tuning in to What's New and Teen Lit, Red, White, and Youth Edition. I hope you visited our website and put one of these titles on hold and explore the information on Project Mobilize. Join me next month for What's New in Teen Lit. Eat, drink, and be scary. Discover a spooky new read with a themed snack to pair with it. See you next time.